Good day, welcome to this video. We want to talk about an interesting topic related to gravity drain. We have two identical shapes, a large tank and also a piping with a small diameter but a um, long height. And having it in two different positions, two different arrangements. So in shape A, we have the large tank in the bottom in shape B, we have the large tank in the top, on the top. And both of them have access to the same valve with the same CV and also draining to the same pressure, which is atmospheric. We want to evaluate with the dynamic simulation to see which one drains faster. Before going to the simulation, I want to mention one key point. To find out which one is draining faster, we need to see what is the drainage capacity. The drainage capacity is governed by the valve here. So valve, the valve CV and the differential pressure across the valve are the B factors. The valve CV is for both situation condition is the same, for both cases the same, but the driving force will be different. And that is related to the static head is, which is available and the, the suction of the old, uh, upstream the valve. So let's uh, investigate the simulation and find out which one drains faster. This is a unisim dynamic simulation. You can see the dimension. This is case A with the long piping with small uh, diameter on the top. And this one is the large tank on the top for B. Everything in the simulation for both A and B is identical. Here is the control valve. Both of them have the same CV. And also I activated in dynamic flow limit, which limits the flow and cavitation occurring. In addition, both of them having atmospheric pressure and uh, in the downstream side. This setup is, um, some of these valves are for initialization. So these two and these two, uh, they will be closed when the simulation is starting. And I'll, I will open these two valves, which is simulating the access to atmospheric uh, condition. So here I only used nitrogen as the uh, air and the pressure atmospheric. So everything is gravity here, composition, nitrogen and atmospheric. So everything is the same. So if I start the simulation, let's see what will happen. Let's stop it here and discuss a bit. When I started the simulation, initially the pressure at time zero was 14.5 bar gauge at the inlet of uh, this valve and also this valve. But since for this one, the, lar the long pipe with a small diameter, which had, uh, which have very, has a very sh um, small volume, it drains very quickly. And as it loses the static head, the pressure upstream the valve will be reduced. So now you see in this case, here we had 2%, 1.6% .6 height reduction here. And you can see the initial pressure almost reduced with the same uh, level. It's like 0.16 reduced. So 14.6 bar gauge here at this time. And here the pressure reduced to 5.4 very quickly. So as we go, this long piping will be completely drained and then it will be the large tank to continue the drainage. But for case A, the rest of drainage of this large tank will be based on very small pressure upstream the valve which leads to a small driving force and therefore a lower flow rate. 
But here, since the tank is on the top and it has a large volume, it takes a long time to drain. But the main governing item for the pressure upstream the valve for this case is this long pipe with the short volume. So the uh, long my mean is uh, in case in terms of height. So it's two, two, 200 meter height. So you see still the reduction in pressure on this one is very small. So initially this one drained the top uh, piping very quickly, but very slowly for the large tank. And this one slowly the large tank on the top, but later very quickly when it comes to the piping, it will be uh, very quickly drained. So let's see. And I want to mention something about the simulation. Since that's a dynamic environment, you need to remember always enable the static head contributions because it is by default not selected in Unisim Dynamic. You need to uh, do that. And also the step size I use is 0.1. And also I remember, uh, I just uh, indicate in this case for simplicity and just using the Penguin Robinson, uh, which is the best um, property package in Unisim, I just use normal decaying as the liquid. But for water, it will be the same. Uh, so now you see here, uh, the top large tank is going to uh, here there are some uh, issues with the simulation at the end that's because of the uh, some uh, like um, problems with the static head in the boundary but uh, it doesn't change the result significantly anyway b is almost drained so we are done with b arrangement which was the large tank on the top so after 20 hours. But for this one, still 81% of that large tank is remained and the driving force will be reducing because as the height is reducing, the static head will be reduced and therefore the pressure falls. And this leads to a lower volumetry flow rate across the valve. I did the simulation uh, and just I did one test before recording this video and it takes around uh, 200 hours for A to drain while this one uh, drained in 20 hours. I hope you got the point and uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a great time ahead.